The Field of Light is an amazing art installation made by renowned artist Bruce Monroe in the Paso Robles area. This installation comprises over 58,000 spheres with fiber optic lights inside of them which light up each night, creating a 15 acre magical display that you can explore. This exhibit has been going on since 2019 and the New York Times said that it was number 6 on the 50 places you must visit in 2020. I had wanted to visit for a long time but this was the first time I was in the area and got to stop by. I didn't know what to expect but honestly I was blown away by the experience and it was a huge highlight on my last road trip. Here's all the information if you want to check it out. The art installation is located in Paso Robles near all the wineries and it's easy to get tickets online. Currently it's been extended through January of 2022 but there's talks that it may be extended longer as well. That being said, if it's on your bucket list to visit, be sure to do it by the end of this year. The venue opened at 6 p.m. and there's food trucks and places to get a drink or you could just explore and watch the sunset. So I got here just as the sun was setting. I wish I had a few more minutes. The venue had many different trails that took you through the exhibit and one of the benefits of being there during the day was that you could check it out when it was light and see what areas you wanted to come back to in the dark. I got here at 6.30 because sunset's at 6.45, but I wish I would've got here at 6 when they opened because it would've been cool to see the sun actually setting a little bit more. This area is known as the Light Towers. There are three main exhibits in this installation, the field of light that you see in the beginning, the light towers, and then one that looks like fireflies. You can see the lights just starting to peek through. They're technically on all the time because they're solar, but you can't see them when it's bright outside. From there, there's tons of benches that you can sit and relax at and just wait for the sun to go down and the lights to turn on. I don't really have a lot more to say about this exhibit other than that I spent about three hours just walking around and exploring back and forth through the property. It's really awe-inspiring to see this field of light, so I figured I'd just let this video run and you could check out the highlights and then you could go see it for yourself. Believe me, this video doesn't do it justice, and if you're interested, it's something you really need to experience. That's it for my time exploring the field of light. Let me know what you think in the comments and we will see you on the next video.